Howdy folks, Max Megan with your Jackson Hole Skywatch. It's 8.09 a.m. on Friday, January 30th, 2015, here in beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yesterday a heavy spray day, today same thing. Um, hopefully you can see those low clouds in the mountains there, and then the high clouds overhead with the obvious uh, X formation kind of center frame there. Uh, we got that high haze everywhere, lots of linear formations. Uh, those hazes proven to trap heat. Not surprisingly, here in Jackson Hole, the paper today, record heat high in the hole. I'm going to read you that real quick. Air temperatures early this week easily broke records, but the most extreme, unseasonably balmy weather was found only in the mountains that surround Jackson Hole, according to the Jackson Hole Daily today, January 30th, Friday, 2015. Let's see. An inversion trapped fog and cold air down low Tuesday, which was far from the case at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. Skiers were able to enjoy temperatures as they climbed to 48 degrees mid-mountain and 38 degrees at the top of the aerial tram. Both temperatures surpassed the previous all-time record by at least 7 degrees, according to Bridger Teton Avalanche Center. Okay, I think the temps were even hotter than that. I heard people say that the gauges were reading 53 degrees at Upper Mountain at Jackson Hole on one day. Well, it's interesting, uh, the most balmy weather was found only in the mountains that surround Jackson Hole. These high hazes trap heat, it's proven. Uh, those ice crystals let the sunlight through. You know, the sun is still pretty bright even though there's, it hasn't come up behind those low clouds. But it sure gets through those high clouds and those trap the heat. Uh, snow also traps heat. So we've got uh, radiant heat bopping back and forth between the two. I'm of the opinion that uh, these artificially induced cloud trails are changing our climate much more than CO2. Keep yourself, look up, one love, peace.